Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We are back with another video. I know I told you guys about two to three weeks ago I was going to make this video, but I have so much other content to make. But hey, at least we're making it now. Let's get it. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And before I even start this video, I want to start off with the Bible verse because all you ladies, you all have to know this, okay? This is the 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. It says, I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully, for some already have turned aside after Satan. Yes, so when there's, when there's a sister, a lady, who is in her 25s, you know, 25, 26, 24, and or older, she doesn't have a husband, she hasn't clinged on to a man of God yet, a righteous man yet, it's because she's following after Satan. This is what the word says. A young woman shall to guide the house, be, uh, bear children, so be married. A lot of these um, women today in, the, in this day and age are not doing that, and this is how we know that who they're really following. So this video is going to give you the signs, the seven signs that you need to know um, that man is set from God, okay? And let's get it, let's go. Woo, let's get it. Okay, the number one sign, the number one sign is he will change your life for the better. A righteous man, a man of God, he will make you a godly woman. He will make you righteous. He will, uh, he will make you virtuous, okay? Through the spirit of God that works through him, that's what he's able to do, okay? But now, of course, you have to be able to have him lead you. You have to be obedient to him as he's obedient to Christ because it's all order, God, Christ, a man, and the woman. But that's what a man of God will do. He's going to boss up your life. He will change you for the better, make you a godly woman, a righteous woman, okay? This is what he's going to do. And, you know, through that process, through that molding process of him turning you that, it's going to be a lot of spiritual warfare taking place because the devil doesn't want you to break free from those strongholds. Through that man of God is helping you break free from, giving you wisdom, giving you knowledge, okay? He's being filled with the Spirit. So the Spirit of God is working through him to get you to get to be right, okay? So the devil doesn't want you to go through a lot of spiritual warfare, a lot of pain and you know a lot of agony and, and sorrow but through the midst of that you're actually becoming a better woman okay so yes this is the number one sign like i said always all my videos none of this in order unless i say it but this is none of this in order but let's get it let's go all right number two. Ooh, yes okay he will piss you off because he speaks much truth okay uh, a man of God that doesn't care about when it comes to speaking truth about your feelings, your emotions, what you think is right. OK, no, no, no. OK, when he's when he's when he has his he speaks on his truth. We don't we don't we're not here to tickle ears. And this is why uh, Eve woman, she gravitates to you know these devils and demons because they're going to tickle her ears. They're going to keep her in the bondage of, of Satan's kingdom and lies and, you know, and, you know, be all, you know, the wolf in sheep clothing. He's not going to really want to change you and, and better your life. He's not going to want to do that. OK, but the man of God is to bring you so much truth. And that truth is, of course, it's supposed to transform. That's what the Bible does when we read it and apply it to our lives. It changes us, even though it brings us conviction. You know, we might get offended or we might experience cognitive distance. But in the midst of it all, it's, it's helped to help us to better our life. OK, and that's what a man of God will do. He will piss you off. He will make you mad. Now, some of now some ladies like that. Some ladies like when a man is, you know, putting them in their place. And you should if he's doing it in a righteous way. You know, but a lot of ladies, they think that's like, oh, you're controlling me, you know, and if, if the, when a man of God, when a man is set from God in your life and you're telling him things like, oh, you're controlling or all the other things, you're narcissistic. When he's just trying to better your life, uh, God's going to give you over to these demonic men. Because when, when God sends you a man your way that's been set from him and you push him away or you make him seem like he's some demon or something like that, I'm telling you, God's going to punish you from that. And the same applies to also from when man get with um, a woman of God. Right? There's number three. Number three is he leads you into the right path. All right, he leads you into the right path. The Bible says in Romans chapter eight verse fourteen that um, many are led by the those who are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. So you want to get with a man like that who's being led by the Spirit, being led by the Holy Spirit, because you following him, he's going to be on that right path. It's just like how Lot Lot was on the right path. Now his wife, she could have been saved too. She could have you know and re reach eternal life. All she had to do was follow him. That's all she had to do. But she loved this world. She loved the things of this world. She was a foolish woman. And we see many of those type of women today. Okay, all they have to do is just follow after righteous men, a man of God. That's it. And submit to him, of course. But she didn't want to do that. Just clinging on to the world, you know, holding on to Satan. You know, holding on to Satan's hand, holding on to God's hand. You can't do that. And that's what a lot of women today do. Lukewarm, double-minded. They're so in love with the world, loving attention. Uh, you know, social media validation. That's that's what these women are holding on to. Just like Lot's wife, just holding on to the world. Don't want to let go. She don't want to be saved. Okay, so that's what a man of God will do. He will lead you down to the right path. Before sign that a man is set from God. Okay, like I said, guys, a lot of a lot of you ladies are going to be like, oh, you just controlling and stuff. No, no, no. 
No, okay, check this out. Our number four, number four sign is he will force you. He will force you to cut off your worldly friends. Yes, yes. One thing about a woman, right? She's more easily influenced, okay? Just like how the, how she was easily influenced by saying, if if the, if the man that he wants to marry you, make, it, make him your wife, right? And all your female friends are all single. They're all bitter. Uh, you know, they're not trying to be wives. There's no way you're going to, because you're, you're the company you keep. Okay, James chapter four, verse four, it says, ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enemy with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Ooh, yes. So the man of God knows that he wants you to become his wife. He wants you to be that virtuous woman, that godly woman. So you're going to have to let the ungodly go. But just like how Lot's wife, she didn't want to let go of the world. She didn't want to let go of the devil. She didn't want to let go of the ungodly friends. She didn't want to let go of that. She wasn't trying to be saved. And we know the saying, don't save her. She don't want to be safe. Facts. That's big facts. So one thing, uh, that's a man of God. He's telling you, oh, you got to cut this person off, cut that person off. Remember, he's being led by the spirit of God. Okay. This is something. Now, if you don't have any ungodly friends, then you don't have to worry about that. If all your friends are married, then obviously you don't have to worry about that. But for those who all your friends are single, all they're all miserable and depressed. You, and you're trying to become a, a godly woman. You're not, you can't be around those type of people. Okay. It's either going to be him. His way or the highway. And that's, it is just like how when it comes to God and Christ, we either his way, his word, or our own destruction. So you got to choose a side. Choose today whom you're going to serve. Your worldly friends, okay, who are miserable and bitter, you know, ran through, or that man of God who's going to lead you down to that righteous path, that narrow way, which leads to salvation. Number five, woo! He prays for you, okay? When a man prays for you, that's a form of protection, which is a form of love. Now, I know that's very simple, but yes, he doesn't have to be there with you to pray with you, but behind closed doors, behind the closet, okay, when you're not there, to, you're not there to see, okay? And of course, you know, when you guys are together too as well, but yes, a man of God is consistently praying for you, your family, your loved ones, you know, no matter what situation you're going from, because like I said, that's a form of love and protection, you know, maybe, you are, maybe he's out at work and you're doing whatever, uh, you know, he just wants to pray that he is protected by you because just best believe when a, when a woman who's breaking free from those strongholds, all those soul ties by all those men, trying to get with the man of God, say it's not going to let you go off the hook. You've been serving, saying, following him your whole for five, the past five, ten years. And now you man, no, say he's not going to let you go off the hook. He's gonna, it's going to be war. OK, that soul tie that, that you had with all these devils and demons in the world, he ain't going to let you go off the hook. So it's going to be a lot of spiritual warfare, it's a lot of stress, anxiety. And a lot of pain that the man of God goes through when making these women today a, a Mugabe woman. It's a lot of that, man. So appreciate that man when you see he's going out the way. Don't say he's controlling and all that. Nah, man, he really loves you, okay? So that's yeah, number five, man. A man who prays for you, that's a form of protection. That's a form of love. Number six is a man of God will force you to level up. Facts, bro. A man of God is going to force you to level up spiritually, emotionally, or maybe even physically. You're going to have to level up because a man of God, he, he's up there, okay, through his obedience. Okay, God has rewarded him and blessed him. So, yeah, he's up there. You're going to have to climb up that, that ladder, too. Okay, you have to be obedient, too. Yeah, the man of God got to put in the work, but you're going to have to put in the work, too, especially when it comes to being being by his side. Okay, you're going to easily force you to level up. Maybe that sin that you struggle with, he's going to force, hey, you got to, hey, you know, we got to repent. Or maybe he fell into it, too. You know, who knows? Well, none of us are without sin. But he sees you in bondage to maybe a certain sin. He's letting you know. Yeah, he's praying for you, yeah, but he's letting you know, hey, you got to give that up. Okay? You know, because like I said, like I always tell you guys on my videos, certain, certain doors you open through willful sin, it opens up demonic doors. And now let's say if, if God wants to bring someone together, remember, when God brings together, let no man separate. But the devil will try to separate. He will try to, you know, cause division. And also through your disobedience, through your open up doors, Bring demons into your life to destroy your marriage, or maybe if you all have children, to destroy your family, etc. etc. So always keep that in mind. All right, a man of God is gonna force you to level up and always understand this too. Leveling up is extremely uncomfortable. It puts you in an uncomfortable because you know you're not used to that. And that you know, you're no longer serving your flesh. When you're leveling up, it's spiritual, and you know, the, the, the flesh is raging war against your spirit. And the spirit is raging war against your flesh. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17. So in the midst of that, you know, you got to go through it. It's a season, you know, and don't know, be weary, don't be weary and well doing for in due season. You shall reap if you faint not. All right. So always keep that in mind. Number seven. Okay. Number seven is you will not have to tell him how to be a man. I see this a lot. You know, you will not have to tell him to be uh, how to be a man of God, how to be a man. A man of God will already know. 
Okay, if a man doesn't provide for his own, he is worse than an unbeliever. You won't have to tell that man to go to church to read his Bible or to pray for you. He's getting ready to do it. You don't have to lead him. And that's backwards because we're living in a society where good is evil and evil is good, which means that we're living in a society that is that a society that's backwards. Okay, so you won't have to tell him man to go to church to pray. You know, a man's gonna do what he wants to do regardless, but at the same time, that's a man. He's gonna do what he, he's gonna lead. You don't have to try to lead for him. Okay, now if you might say, well, Mark, you know. You know, and that, you you and your husband, that's your own issue. That's none of my business. Okay. Y'all gotta work out your own salvation. Y'all gotta work it out on your own. Okay. But for you, for you ladies and sisters out there who, you know, are looking for a man and you try to tra train him to be a man of God, to nah, man, that, that's backwards. Okay. The man's supposed to be training you how to how to become a better woman, to be, you know, to be better in, you know, to Christ. He should be doing that. But nowadays you see the woman doing it to the man. Okay, but this is unfortunate that women are gravitating towards this, these men. Because, like I said, the soul tie with Satan, the soul tie with the with the enemy. Okay, through all those doors, all those soul ties, you know, all those demons. Okay, you know, you won't even know when a man God comes your way, you won't even know because Satan has blinded the minds that believe not. Satan blinds those who are, you know, living in disobedience. The Bible says the spirit of the Antichrist works to the to children of disobedience. The spirit of Satan works to them. And a lot of like, like that Bible verse says, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 4 to 13. Sorry, verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 14 to 15 says that, you know, women have turned aside after the devil. And we've seen a lot of that in, in these last days. Okay, so these are, the, these are the seven signs that a man is set from God. Guys, if you made this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I know I told you all I'll do this two, three weeks ago, but I was super busy. But nevertheless, this is a classic, certified classic. So y'all know what to do. Share this video. Share it. Share it out. Push it out. You know, comment below what your experiences are. Have you met a man like this? You know, let me know in the comments. So I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.